guys, Kit here. We have a very special treat for you today. Here in the studio we have Batman. That's right, the one, the only, Batman. He's come in today to answer a couple of questions that we've rounded up from people who've always wanted to ask Batman a question, but never really had the opportunity. So Batman, we have uh, 21 different questions broken up into four different categories for you. And we're going to go down the line, starting with the category Outfit. And the first question is, Batman, why do you wear your underwear on the outside of your costume? Funny story, actually. It all started as an accident. I was a little drunk on bat tequila the night before my first patrol, and I woke up with the craziest hangover. I didn't even notice it at first, honestly. After that, well, I couldn't very well wear them on the inside. That'd be like admitting that I'd made a mistake. And Batman does not make mistakes. <laughs> of course you don't. Now the next question is, do you feel self-conscious about wearing tights and a cape? One time a henchman said something about my fashion choices. You know what happened to him? That's right. Battering to the head. Ouch, that sounds painful. And speaking of pain, does all that rubber chafe? Not really. But that's why I tell Catwoman, so she doesn't ask about that weird rash I have on my bat penis. Yee. On a different note, what's with the affinity towards black? It's very slimming, that's all. That's understandable. This question comes in, it's a little bit more harsh. Why do you wear S&M gear? Because your mother likes it so much, jackass. <laughs> you sure told him, Batman. So, why did you ever let Joel Schumacher come and design your suit with bat nipples? I mean, I know this is a very heated topic in the Batman fan community, but we'd just like if you could come and set the record straight for everyone at home. I tell you, those Jews get you every time with their damn fine print. <laughs> they sure do. So, we're going to move on now to the technical section. The first question is, why is your dialogue so poor? After almost 70 years, you will not have shit to talk about too, asshole. Understandable. So, how did you manage to build the Batcave without anyone noticing or knowing it about it except for you and Alfred? I used Mexicans. Then I killed them when they were done and threw their bodies in the Bat Incinerator. Oddly enough, no one really cared too much. <laughs> I'd imagine they wouldn't. The next question reads, why do the cops rely on you when they have SWAT teams, undercover officers, and an assload of other cops? Incompetence, mainly. That really is sad. The next question is, can you teach me how to fight? I can, but I won't. Maybe if you had asked if I will teach you how to fight, I would have considered it. Batman does not tolerate poor grammar. That's a very admirable stance, Batman. So how much money do you spend per year replacing your batarangs? Okay, let me show you something. See that? Right there? I just made five million dollars. Don't worry, I got my finances covered. <laughs> if only everyone could be so lucky. The last question in the technical section is, where did you get the Batmobile? Police auction. It used to be owned by a pimp. There's actually a small blood stain on the bat dashboard. <laughs> I'm sure Alfred could find some way to get that out. We're going to move on to the romance section now. Now this can get a little bit heated, a little bit hot and heavy. So if you're a small child, you might want to leave the room, cover your eyes and ears, turn off your computer, or run away in fear. Whatever. First question is, what's with you and Robin? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is this about the gay thing again? I was screwing Vicky Vale, Chase Meriden, Selena Kyle, and a slew of other women that were among such a large number that I don't even remember their names. I've had a piece of female arm candy at some point in every movie or television series I've been in. What more can I say before you'll believe that Robin and I never, ever took a trip down the Hershey Highway? <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Our next question comes in, I'm assuming from a girl. It says, will you marry me? Only if you promise you're not a psychiatrist or secretly hiding a villainous alter ego. I've had my heart broken too many times by women who wanted to either know my secrets or hide their own. I don't think I could take that kind of pain again. No fat chicks either. <laughs> I know the feeling. Now the next question also, I'm assuming, comes from a girl. It says, 
Can I get some alone time with Robin? <laughs> sure. Good luck with that. I tell you though, that boy is messed up. He's all wah, wah. My parents got killed. Wah, wah. I got something to tell you, Dicky. You're not the only one. Get over it. <laughs> I'm sure one day he will. Now, we're done with the romance section, so we're going to move on to personal, which is our last section of the evening. Now, Batman, what is your secret for being such a manly man? Every morning I wake up and urinate into a toilet shaped just like Chuck Norris's face, just to show him who's boss. After that, you'd feel like a champ, too. <laughs> I'd imagine you would. So, the next question is, what relation do you have to a real bat? Huh. You know, I've never really thought about it. I mean, you'd think I'd have some kind of cryptic connection of bats or something, right? Nope. I just think they're cool. <laughs> hey, can't argue with that. Now, this next question is a little bit more personal than the rest. It asks, how large is your penis? Bigger than yours. Next question. <laughs> Enough said. The next question reads, why don't you have any superpowers? Why don't you, smartass? Huh. Now this one's a little bit more general. What are your political views? The only part of our government I like is when they give up and send me in to do some kicking and punching and batteranging. The rest of the system is full of cocksuckers. I couldn't agree more. And wrapping up our personal section and our questioning for the night, why are you so dark and moody? Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm not really all that dark or moody. I started this shtick to connect with the kids. I hear the whole emo thing is really in with a lot of them. Was... was I... Uh, is... is that not still true? <laughs> I don't know, Batman, but I'll be sure to get back to you on that one. Well, folks, that's all we have for today. I'm gonna let Batman go, and I'm gonna let you go, too. I hope you enjoyed today's show. This is Kit, signing off. <laughs>